today, we're going to torture test this tool until either this chunk of material is gone or this cutter is broken. It's showtime. this type of video some of you guys get the wrong idea so before you go jumping in the comments saying things like that's unrealistic or that's impossible or you're gonna destroy your spindle or the tools only gonna last two minutes stick around for a bit and enjoy the show and I'm gonna tell you exactly why we do this type of video first of all we don't do this type of video to show off we do this exclusively to open your mind to what's possible. You know, maybe you're like I used to be and you only take 50,000 depths when you're full slotting. A lot of people work in shops where low and slow is the norm. And then the owner's not able to buy new cutting tools, new equipment, or give people raises because they're not being efficient and profitable. And that results in a lot of poor attitudes because nothing ever gets better and everyone's staying in their little comfort zone. Now some of you may have heard me mention in previous videos that I'm a fourth generation machinist. Now before I came here to work at Titans, I saw some of these full slotting videos and they absolutely blew my mind. But what did that accomplish? Well, it made me question my low and slow processes and it made me go a little bit faster and a little bit deeper. When we make cuts like this that blow your mind, it's so that you will open your mind. And when people say, oh, that's going to break your spindle, or that's going to ruin your part, or that's going to ruin your cutter, no, it won't. We sit here and we calculate every little thing about these cuts. We know exactly what our spindle can take, we know exactly what our fixturing can take, and we know what this cutter can take. This cut is barely scratching 100% spindle load, and this machine is capable of 5 minute bursts at 200% spindle. And we aren't saying that you should run like this. We're running without coolant, and with that we would have had the added lubricity and the chip evacuation, and this cutter would have easily lasted all day. And if we can do full slots like this at 2 times D depth with no coolant, maybe you guys can go a half times D or 1 times D, and maybe you can increase your feed rate from 2 inches a minute to 10, and then you guys will start making some money out there.
And there you have it. Tool didn't break, we ran out of material. Cutter survived, the spindle's fine, the machine is fine. Hopefully this showed you guys that we're in this to really help you guys make money and not just give you a good show. So plunge mill that like button, full slot that subscribe button, and for more beast mode content, check out these other videos.